Dance Rhythms. Hi there. So today I'm speaking to a wonderful, wonderful girl that you have probably come across before, maybe on YouTube, because she has her own YouTube channel, maybe on Jubilee, maybe on Instagram, possibly even on the new latest Samsung advert that's out there. <laughs> today I'm speaking to Julia Bansali. So hi, how are you? Hi, I'm so good. How are you? I'm I'm amazing and so excited to talk to you today. Thank so you. do you just want to tell us a little bit? I mean, you do you do a lot of different things. You're a model <laughs> and you're an influencer. You're a musician and artist. You've got a latest single out, which we're going to dive a lot more deeper into. But do you want to just tell us a little bit more about who you are? Yeah, I'd like to. My name is Julia. I am from Mississippi, and that is just like a small southern state in America. Not much, not much there. Lots of cows, lots of grass lots of dirt <laughs> um, but I grew up as a Christian I grew up in a, a home where I went to church a lot and I always loved music music has always been a big thing in my life I started taking piano lessons when I was like five and then when I was 12 I started writing songs and then I'm 21 now so for the past like 10 years I've just been writing songs and finding just joy in it I, I go through hard experiences and like emotions and pain and growth and joy all my emotions and my experiences and like my, my worship and everything and so I love that and I also do work as a model. I started modeling when I was about 16 and I ended up going to LA and then Turkey and India and Korea and so it's just, I never could have imagined I would ever be going to these places but like God has really just brought me through so many things and allowed me to be able to step into these places and to be a light for him. I mean modeling is fun but music is what I, what I love to do and I feel like God has given me that gift for a reason so I'm just grateful to be able to share that with people and I'm so grateful to be able to be here and share it with y'all. So yeah, that's so awesome. And I know like one thing that I sort of found when I was kind of when I was you know looking on your different channels and different videos and so on that you're in, you tend to bring up your faith and uh, like what you do and on your Instagram and so on. You're not really it's not something that you kind of hide in and amongst everything that you do. So I guess one quick question that I have is, do you think that your faith and sort of the work that you do, so modeling and now going to music and so on, do you feel like those kind of work work hand in hand yeah I think everything that I do is like my faith is kind of like I feel a lot of people view like God as kind of like an accessory to life like oh yeah God's over here but like here's my life but I view it as the opposite I view God's like in the middle and he's the foundation of everything that I do and, and everything that comes from that is what I need to be doing because if it's like I'm gonna go do my own thing and do this and this and this then that's gonna be nothing's gonna work out it's not gonna be like what's the purpose in that just to my own you know my own desires that's not gonna get me anywhere but I realized when I put God first he gives me the right desires into doing the right things I need to do. And he empowers me and blesses me in the right way I need to go. I've been able to go in these places and just shine. I've gone to share God with people in the industry who never would have imagined I've got like people who are photographers and makeup artists and directors. I've gotten to share like, hey guys, they're like, why are you always so happy? I'm like, I have God, I have Jesus. And like, my joy comes from God. My joy comes from the Lord. And so I've, I've used like God is my foundation. I always say that. like. Without God, there I can't do anything in my life. So I choose to put Him in all the things I do and have Him be the foundation. You, you mentioned a lot in that how you get your joy and sort of hope and everything from God. What? Why do you think that is? And a bit about like how how old was, were you when you first started looking into faith? I mean, I, I grew up in a household that was a Christian household and that knew God. But I feel like my most my childhood I didn't really. Kind of, I, I knew what I knew God was, and I was I was following God, but I didn't really know Him, know Him. And so when I got to high school, and I started having like real like challenges in my life, and I started to actually go through things where I could not do them on my own, I had to really be like, okay, God, like I need you. And I feel like a lot of times, we when everenings are going good in our lives, it's like, oh yeah, I'm, it's all me, I got this, I'm fine. But it's whenever we come to a place of desperation and dependence that we're like, oh. I actually need you, God, because my desperate and needy heart is the perfect place to meet God because he He wants to come into those places and he wants to meet you there. And I've struggled with the eating disorder in the past and I've struggled with anxiety and I've struggled with all these things and he's delivered me from them and he's continuing to, I have to continually surrender them over to him because when I try to hold them on my own, it crumbles and I, I'm not strong enough and I just, I worry and I fear and I have anxiety, but he has allowed me to have peace and I have this peace that nothing can shake because the Bible says that there is a peace that surpasses all understanding. 
so whenever we have hope in Christ, our heart is guarded with this peace. And not, no matter what's happening in your life, if nothing will shake it. Because if you if you put your worth and your your happiness and your in all these things in your success and in your career and in your relationships and in your circumstances, they're always going to fail. But if you put your faith and your hope and your trust in something that's like not going to change, because God is unchanging. So I know that no matter what's happening in my life, no matter where I am, He is going to be there. He's never going to change. He's never going anywhere. And so I have this hope that, wait, I can hope in this. This is never going to leave me. God's never going to leave me. I had this. And it gives me a peace and it gives me a joy that my, my, my hope and my happiness and my joy does not come from the world. It comes from God. And, and the joy that comes from being loved by God being loved by the creator of the universe that is a joy that is unlike any joy in this world that's so inspirational and quite i guess in a way it's quite powerful to hear especially because um you're you're quite young so are you 21 i am yeah 21 wow amazing just because you you kind of touched on stuff like eating disorders and anxiety what kind of advice would you give to someone who is is young as well and might be facing or struggling with i mean i'm still honestly on this journey and every single day i have to surrender this to god and, and it's still a struggle I have some days where it's hard. My soul will pray I'm fearfully and wonderfully made mm-hmm. You make no mistake I'm fearfully and wonderfully